right? So you don't have to think about every single little blade of grass or every leaf or every sort of puff of dust, but you can sort of have those elements, those building blocks, which can then be sort of put together in response to the user versus having to be sort of well thought out and planned in advance. Yeah, you can take any piece of content in the game and imagine an algorithmic solution to it, or also, you know, a way that the player could customize that object or thing. You know, there's this group in Europe called the Demo Scene that make these very elaborate demos for a computer that fit in very tiny little memory blocks, you know, like 64K of memory, and you run the thing, and in fact, it algorithmically generates about 100 megabytes of data, you know, these rich 3D environments, generated music, generated wave files, generated animation, and they're developing techniques to generate, you know, huge amounts of interesting data at a very, very simple, you know, elegant little compressed algorithms. Um, and this is a, a skill that game developers used to have, you know, back in the 8-bit days. That was the only way to do a game like Karotica, was to find all these little tri you know, tips and tricks to compress things and generate them algorithmically. But since the CD-ROM came out, you know, and very cheap hard drives, storage is cheap. So basically we've lost that skill set, and now we attack all these problems with brute force. Um, I think, you know, we've lost something by kind of dropping that skill set.